Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Here's a list of numbers. 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, and so on, up to 200, 200, dot, 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 200. In this list, the integer n appears n times for 1 less than or equal to n less than or equal to 200. The question is what is the median of the numbers in the list? This is a no calculator question. I thank Deepa Priya for the suggestion, and this comes from the 2021 AMC 12A Problem 16, and the AMC is one of the Olympiad qualifying tests in America. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So to get started, let's count the total number of numbers in the list. We can do that by counting the number of ones plus the number of twos plus the number of threes all the way up to the number of two hundreds. So the number of ones is one, the number of twos is two, the number of threes is three, and so on up to 200. So we want the sum of the numbers going from one to 200. So we use the famous formula and we have 200 multiplied by 201 divided by two, and that works out to be 20,100. Now similarly, we can calculate the numbers that are up to the last appearance of the number K. We count the number of ones, the number of twos, the number of threes, all the way up to the number K. So this will be one plus two plus three, all the way up to K, and that is equal to K multiplied by K plus one, all over two. So where do we go from here? We want the median. Now the list is already in ascending order. So that's good. The halfway point will be the total number, 20,100 divided by two. So the median will be any number between the terms. Because the total number of numbers in the list is an even number, we need to take any number between these two terms. So we want the numbers up to n minus one to be less than or equal to 20,100 divided by two, which is less than or equal to the numbers up to n. So we can write this using the formula n minus one multiplied by n divided by two, and that's gotta be less than or equal to 20,100 divided by two, which is less than or equal to n multiplied by n plus one all over two. So how can we work out this inequality? Well, let's take a look at the numerators. We have n minus one multiplied by n, and this numerator is 20,100. So we need n squared to approximately be equal to 20,100. Now this is a no calculator question, so we need to estimate this. So the square root of 20,100 is approximately equal to the square root of two multiplied by 10,000. The square root of 10,000 is 100. So this is 100 multiplied by root two, Root two is approximately equal to 1.41. So this is approximately equal to 141. So this gives us one candidate. Let's try n is equal to 141. So we'll calculate 141 multiplied by 142. In that case, we have 141 squared plus 141. 141 is equal to 140 plus one. So we square this and we get 140 squared plus two multiplied by 140 plus one squared plus 141. This equals 19,600 plus 280 plus one plus 141, which all works out to be 20,022. But this is smaller than the numerator of 20,100. So if we take all the numbers going up to 141, it's still too little. We haven't reached the median value yet. So we are going to need the next number, which is 142. So for 142, we can write 142 multiplied by 143. We write this as 142 multiplied by 141 plus two. 141 multiplied by 142, we've already calculated. So we just need to add two multiplied by 142. So we have 20,022 plus 284, which equals 20,000 306, and that is greater than the numerator of 20,100. So this is what we want. So just to put it in another way, we've calculated these values and we're looking for a number so that we could figure out the median, 
which will be between the 10,050th term and 10,051st term. So if we divide these by two, we figure out the numbers going up to 141 and 142. So the numbers going up to 142 is 10,153, and the numbers going up to 141 is 10,011. So we can see that 142 is the 10,050th value and 10,051st value in the list. Therefore, 142 is the median, and that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.